Okay, guys. Uh, in the teaching of geometry, we're going to use this app, GeoGebra, a lot. So I want to just introduce you, it to you and show you what it can do. First thing, go to geogebra.org, and you want to use the geometry app. I actually, just by the way, I actually really like the GeoGebra Classic. I think it's a bit easier and um, nicer, but we'll stick to the GeoGebra because this is the one that you can also use on a, a tablet device. They're really similar. It doesn't matter. And if you have used Classic before, you use it. Okay, first thing you can do is put on points. And now points are just positions in space. And they can, uh, yeah, you can put them on there. Now, if you want, you can see how they fit on a grid. Or even how they fit on an axis. But we're not going to use that today. So we'll just turn them off. Oh, by the way, snap to grid means wherever you put the point, it goes to the closest grid position, defined grid position, mostly whole numbers. But that's another topic for another day. Once you have lines, uh, points in space, you can draw lines in between them. So a line goes on forever in both directions, and uh, but goes through those two points. A line segment starts at one point and finishes at the other point. So a line goes on forever in both directions. Line segment has a start and finish. If we click more here, there's even other options. I'm going to show you a ray. This has a starting point, but then it goes off forever in the other direction. Just to illustrate it going off forever. There we go keeps going and going and going. Okay. But, guys, the whole point of this is that we can then move around these points and move around these points and move around these points and think about and talk about the relationships between these things. Now, um, it would be nice to see what's happening at this point here, which is an intersection. Now, on the old version, they let you construct an intersection. But here, you basically can do it easier. You put a point, and it should show you now that that's at the intersection. Yeah, yeah. So they've improved the fuzzy logic there. I like the old way, but there we go, progress. Um, also, the, the greatest thing about this is that we can measure. So I can measure a distance or length. I can measure what A to B is. And it'll tell me AB is 9.7 centimeters. Um, if you still live in the 19th century, you can uh, change your settings and change that to, uh, sorry, I'll show you somewhere else where you do that. Change it to inches, but let's do everything in centimeters. Um, you can also measure an angle. So if I want to measure this angle in here, I go around C, D, E, and it tells me it's 31 degrees. Okay. Once I have that information, Here's another thing. So this is in this uh, under this little heading here. You can also use this heading, and it shows you what you've done. By clicking here, I can turn on and off the point. Did you see that? See here, point A disappears, point B. So you can construct things with points. You can also disappear the line. You can also go over here to settings. And let's change the color of the line. Okay, 
Let's change the color of this ray settings color. And you just sort of do it and then it happens automatically. Oh, I didn't do that right, did I? The settings. There we go. Okay. Um, so that's that's the main features. You can also, of course, insert uh, text. So it's just like most things. You put a text box, and you can say you can uh, type in a very funny joke like this. Of course, that is a very funny joke. Um, you can put images in, so you can insert an image. And we'll probably do this in class one day. We'll insert an image and then uh, draw around it and work out angles related to it. You can transform, and we'll, we'll definitely do that. Um, you can make... Ah, you can make circles. So this is a circle. We'll make a circle over here. B is the center and you can circle it out. And if you then move, if you move B, it moves the circle along. If you move G, it moves, makes the circle bigger and smaller. Uh, you can also make polygons so let me just oh, sorry let me make a space here first I can draw a polygon just clicking where I need the the points and then I can adjust the points specifically again click here and you can see the segment and you can change the settings you can change the the settings I think nothing just happened oh, I just changed the point I didn't yeah click the polygon there we go okay so that's the kind of thing you can do with GeoGebra okay um, there are, as you can see, there's a lot more, a lot more um, functions and, and uh, things you can use here. Definitely the, the construct we will be using. Let me show you, for example, once if I, if I want to find the midpoint of HK here, I can go midpoint. And it tells me here what to do. Select two points, a segment. So uh, select HK, and then L becomes the midpoint. If I want to do a perpendicular line, it says select a point and the perpendicular line. There you go. That line is perpendicular to HK. And when I move H and K, the line moves, right? The midpoint is still the midpoint, and the line the line still perpendicular. All right, that's probably way too much information all at once. I've gone very quickly, but um, this is probably the most important button. Always go back to this move, and yeah, you can construct things and examine and play with geometry and learn through experience. Uh, good luck using it. Come back and watch this video again and refresh your ideas. Um, yeah, refresh your knowledge all the time. Okay, peace.